finally, lurking around in here, the ventral tegmental area and the nucleus accumbens, really pertinent to depression as well. This is the part of the brain that has all the neurons that release dopamine having to do with pleasure. This is the part of the brain that cocaine works on, that indirectly all addictive drugs work on. This is the part that stimulates dopamine release here, stimulates dopamine release at all the interesting places, frontal cortex, amygdala, hippocampus, central to understanding everything about appetitive behavior, behavior driven by an appetite for something that tells us an elaboration we'll be learning about in terms of what the dopamine system here does. People used to think this is the system that activates when you are feeling pleasure. Turns out it does something much more interesting. This is the part of the brain that activates when you're anticipating feeling pleasure. It's not about getting the reward, it's about anticipating that you will get a reward. And what it's most about is not only anticipating that you may get a reward, but powering the behavior you need to do in order to get the reward. Standard paradigm showing this. You take a monkey that's been trained every time a light comes on. At that point, if it presses a lever 10 times, five second delay, and out comes some food. That reward system. Initially, the very first time it stumbles into just happening to hit this out of boredom 10 times and out comes some food, ooh, up go dopamine levels when the food comes out. But pretty soon what you get instead is the dopamine levels go up when the light first comes on. This is not, ooh, I just got some pleasurable food. This is, I know this one. I'm on top of this. I'm all over this one. This one's easy. This is one of those 10 lever press deals. This is going to be great. I got this under control. Elevated dopamine, you go hit the lever, and along comes the food. Now, instead, you flash on the signal telling you we're entering one of those press the lever 10 times, you get food sessions. You turn that on, and you block the rise in dopamine, and the animal doesn't press the lever. What this pathway is about is giving you the energy, the motivation, the depolarization of neurons for carrying out the pursuit of pleasure. And that's really informative, as we'll see, because stimulating the pursuit of pleasure is far more of an addictive process than the pleasure itself in terms of making sense of some of the circuitry.